Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well, it's been an absolutely crazy week here at Sugar and Crumbs. We're absolutely delighted that we have Georgie Godbold in our kitchen doing a class today, so ever so delighted. I feel that she's my new best friend because I've just spent two other days with you this yes. week <laughs> over at the Renshaw Academy. Renshaw Academy kindly sponsored this class today by um, supplying all the lovely sugar paste that this, these lovely ladies are gonna take home. So we're very grateful to Renshaw too. Um, a few other bits of exciting news. We have Zoe Fancy Cakes in here this week as well. Absolutely fabulous lady. She did three classes, all in the new Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. And on top of that, we have been um, selected as finalists for two items at the Cake Masters Awards at Cake International in November. So we're highly delighted with that. And one is Best Retailer. So hopefully we're going to win that award. You never know. So let's get those thumbs up and let's hope we're going to win. That would be exciting for Sugar and Crumbs. We're actually five years old on the 31st of October. I can't believe John and I have survived that one, <laughs> especially without killing each other. So <laughs> been a few near misses, haven't He's they, John? So, <laughs> so we're five years old on the 31st of October. We're going to the Cake Masters Awards. And you know what? It's really, it really is an honour just to be a finalist. But if we win it, that will be absolutely amazing. We're also up for best product. There's eight uh, finalists in the best product. We're there too. So we're really pleased that our sugar and crumbs flavored ice and sugars have made it. We do believe that by doing our Facebook lives, we've educated lots of you about how to use our sugars. And I've met so many of you at different classes, at the shows, and it's, here, it's so lovely to hear how much you love them and use them in your bakes. Ladies. Yes. Yes. So if you're wondering, we do have a little crowd around here. So maybe John can twizzle the camera. John, are you? Are we on this camera? Which camera? So <laughs> we're on the. Don't know which camera. On. By the way, there's no Laura Maria today. Maria is actually on holiday, and uh, I didn't request Laura to come in on a Saturday. God bless her. We made Georgie do it instead. Thank you. So <laughs> Georgie didn't know she was actually going to do a live till last Monday. She didn't know she was going to do a live, so I made an announcement and then I said we're going to do a live on Monday. So I'm just going to get John to give you a little walk up the kitchen, see what everybody's been making. I'm going to point them out. So these are the children. We've had two children in the class today. So um, this one is Holly's, my granddaughter's. And this one is Daisy and Jerry over there, who's hiding. This is her granddaughter. You don't get out of it, Jerry. <laughs> so let's have a look. And then we've got Wendy over here, who's making hers. So they've been making Santa's sleigh, been having a great time, have you enjoyed it? Loved it. You see what you do, we pay <laughs> these customers well, don't we? Feed them up. <laughs> I know, all I've heard is laughing and giggling in here all day. So do you want to turn yours around, Janet? Let's have a look. And this, one's jo uh, this one is George's, what she's made, what everyone's been copying today. <laughs> everybody has been making the same cake everybody's put their own little twist on it which is fantastic so just one second Georgie <laughs> and then we've got Janet's over here I don't know whose this one is uh, nope. okay. <laughs> and then Sue's I love the little reindeers on the side the embellishments of reindeers you've added on there so it's just amazing that everybody just does something a little bit different don't they and then we've got Alison's over here. The muzzles are really cute as well. Look at those nice big red noses. So this is our reindeer. He's absolutely knackered, pulling the penguins along. Rebecca's. We'll go back to the main camera in a moment. So we've got Rebecca's. Hopefully we don't lose the signal down here. And then we've got Zoe's over here. And then we've got Alex's here. It's great, aren't they? Look how cute they are. So we can't show you how to make these because these lovely ladies are paying for a class. But while we had Georgie here, we asked her to knock up a cat and a father Christmas. <laughs> the Christmas ignoring, is off. She's ignoring the father Christmas. <laughs> It's not Christmas yet, it's yeah. Halloween first. So if you just turn around here, John, one minute. So let me just show you something else, guys. Because, um, let me show you something else. Because we went on Georgie's class, and Renshaw Academy is great for doing classes as well. And Georgie uh, goes over there and does several classes. So every time she's over there, we're hoping we're going to grab her <laughs> as well. 
But um, we went on her class and I made this one this week. So this was the pumpkin. So you can see the witch splattered into the side of the pumpkin, the little mices. And I couldn't have made this without Georgie, to be fair. So absolutely amazing. And then we made the Christmas pudding and all the ladies in both classes were fantastic. Christmas pudding with the mices. Mice. Mice? <laughs> <laughs> I always get it wrong. Is it a mouse and a mice? Mice and a mice. Oh, okay. Mice and mice. And then I had to improvise because I couldn't get enough sugar paste around the back. You learned something here as well, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Couldn't get enough sugar paste around the back. So I've made my own little snowball fountain there with my own little snowman. So there he is. Super. So, I hope our audience is building nicely, is it, John? It is, yeah. Good. Have you thought about that part of Christmas? No. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is swap over cameras now to the main camera, and then I'm going to hand you over to Georgie. I'll just let John tell me which camera we're on. We're on this camera, are we? Great. Have we got a nice audience following us tonight? Have you all remembered? We have over 100 people. Wow. Pretty good for... Saturday, 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 Saturday. Out before you're out all on the lash, watch a bit of Georgie. Good. Well done. <laughs> well, out on the lash. <laughs> Sorry, before you go out drinking and celebrating tonight. <laughs> so um, I'm going to leave it to Georgie to make a fabulous black cat. Is it going to be a black one? It's going to be a black cat. Yeah. Lucky black cat. Red one or no, it's out. black. <laughs> leave you to it. Good evening. <laughs> After this, I will be out. <laughs> I will probably sleep all the way home. Okay. Hello, welcome. It's been a fantastic few days with Renshaw and working here today has been brilliant. So as you can see, all the ladies have thoroughly enjoyed themselves. I'm going to make you a black cat, which you can use for Halloween. It's not Christmas yet. We're going to do Halloween first. Right? So, Does that mean you're coming back? No. <laughs> you never know. Right. Um... I still weigh everything with the wobblies and I'm sure you know, you've seen me before, you've been in my workshops that we use scales and we measure and weigh everything. I'm also using the Renshaw Black Flower Modelling Paste which is great. Sugar paste doesn't work, you need something a little bit firmer so always use your modelling and flower paste. Um, all the wobblies, I'm sure you all know ladies, I'm going to quiz these, um, that the bodies of the wobblies are 45 grams. So we weigh it out, we've got 43 Probably lost a bit. There we go. Well, while you wait out, I'm just going to shout out a little few hellos. Maria can't stay away from us. She's given us all a wave. <laughs> so Robert Allen, Janet Ann Brown, Stacy, Claire Heath, Lorraine, lots and lots of regular people. Uh, Julie Crompton, Nesma, uh, lots of people staying there. And I've just had to laugh at this com comment here. What does she say? She's put off doing her tea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good excuse for stopping her doing her tea so she can watch you. Thank you. <laughs> Get my tea later. Right, nice smooth ball, 45 grams. These are little keepsake characters, all the wobblies, whether you're making the little Wilhelmina witch or you're making the snowman or the reindeer, these little characters are keepsakes. Please do not eat them. If you're making them for some, somebody's cake, fine, but please write a little disclaimer to say, do not eat, because we don't want anybody choking. Right. A nice 45 degree ball, put it on its side, make a little cone. Cocktail stick through the middle. You just move that way a little bit. <laughs> Can I smile as I go? Right, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Lisa Clark. She's putting off making her dinner, a perfect excuse. Thank just you. Just to watch that's you. Lovely. Right, so that's the body for the wobblies. Um, if I had known about this, Dem. <laughs> I'd have probably made these before, but um, normally try and make these the night before and let them dry. So that's the body. The heads are 20 grams. Whether you're making an elephant, a mouse, a cat, anything, all the heads are 20 grams. My books are available through Carol or me. Yeah, they're all back in stock they're on the back website. In stock. There you go. And so are the winter flavours, just what I was saying. The winter flavours are back in stock. The books are back in stock and by the way if you order this weekend um, you only have to spend £20 to get free shipping and that's up till Sunday midnight. You're going to be up to midnight. Well they might get till half past six. <laughs> Monday morning. <laughs> Any sneaky ones. <laughs> be sneaky. Right 20 grams. 
and you have to weigh everything. It's, they're all worked out in proportion um, so that we all get everything right, whether we're doing hands or feet or shoes, we work out everything. So 20 grams for the head. And it is. Children love doing these. Well, they've gone. The children have gone. They've gone to the garden, have they? Yeah, they've been they've brilliant away, today. Yeah. They've sat here and played, what, six hours? Yeah, they've gone playing with the and dogs now. And they are now. just fantastic. That's all they're interested in, the dogs. The dogs. Right, so, Georgie, a couple of people have asked about the weighing scales. Now, they can buy them direct from you, from you, can't yes, they? Yes. So, do you want to just tell them what the name of your page is? Right. Don't go on Facebook page Sugar Wobblies because you'll get more than what you bargain for. <laughs> um, I do have a page Sugar Wobblies um, and then realised perhaps that wasn't a good idea. So please go on my page, which is my name, Georgie Godbold. Join me on Facebook. You can message me and then I will sort out payment and I will send you the scales. Yeah, super. So if you want the scales, you can buy them direct from Georgie. They're a great little set of scales. Really very handy for sugar paste used only. Of course, um, if not, see me the NEC if you're going, Cake International, we'll all be there, yep. come and see me on the stand. Lovely. Absolutely. Right, so we've weighed out our body, which is 45. Oh, 45. Oh. See what I have to put up with? How much is the head? 20. 20. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They've been working all day. Right. Yeah. So it's good. Right. Come on, I've got a cloth here somewhere. <laughs> right. I'm now going on to white, so not good to work with black and white without a cloth. How much are the scales, Georgie? Ten pound. They're ten pound for a set of scales. Yep. Does that include postage? Nope. No. Nope. Depends where they live. <laughs> yes. I can't say a certain price yeah. because I don't know. Where but to be fair, they will be post postage. But yeah. if you do come and see Georgie at CI, she's on the Edible Art Stand. Yes. And you can go direct to her and buy them there. Yes. Thank you. Right. Little cat has a tummy. flat one and I'm using the FMM oval cutters um, they're nice cutters they cut very well and we've been using them all today haven't we so they've been good they're right. a great set of cutters I didn't know about them until, you, until I came on one Geometric. of your cutters yeah. they're so handy yeah. So the cutters that Georgie always swears by are the geometric cutters by FMM. They are on the website, and I think they're seven ninety nine for ten. Yes. And a little mini palette knife is is a good tip as well that Georgie always says that you need. They're on the website as well. What were they, girls? Were they three pounds something? Forty nine. Mine's something gone like missing. That. Can I have mine back, please? Lend a knife. We've got a knife there. We can pass so over. Yes, yeah, just a borrow, just in case. Thank you very much. Palette knife. <laughs> right. Put your cutter down and lift up then you've got a nice smooth edge when you add glue we always seem to add too much glue don't we ladies yes, yes. the brush is gone you can tell we've been busy all day no i've got no i found it no, thank you. do you ladies want to come up here and have a look what she's doing because there's yeah. plenty of space around this side they're all hiding up the other yeah. end <laughs> Talking while we smash the kitchen up. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing broken, they're fine. Nothing broken. Would the other two outside like to come round this way. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we get back to your. I'm not quite sure if I to mute this. Yeah. Don't. Uh, Georgie, let me just ask you a question. Chelms for demo. There's a lovely lady who's a regular who watches us there. Janet Ann Brown, she's oh, going to watch you. You'll love the scales there as well, won't yes. you? Wherever you go, you take Wherever the scales. Wherever I go, I take yeah. them with me. Yes, into So, any of you shopping. ladies who want to come up here and carry on, have a closer look. Alex, Zoe, coming up. Where's up this side? <laughs> that was a good one, that, Sue. You did yourself proud Sorry. there, love. <laughs> Do you want to give Sue the chair? So we're just, doing, Natasha, we're just doing a sneaky little demo. We are in class today, and I took advantage of Joey, uh, of Joey, of um, <laughs> Georgie being here. <laughs> I'm thinking kangaroos now. No. So I'm taking advantage of Georgie being here, and um, I just announced on Monday that she'll be making a little something for yes. us, and she's making a Halloween black cat for you. So it's just a sneaky little live. And luckily, I was watching the program, so I knew what I was doing. <laughs> that was a great surprise. <laughs> right, that clicks, 20 grams. And don't worry, there was no damages in the kitchen, just a very red, embarrassed face. 
<laughs> Need. Need your paste. This paste has been in cupboards, it's been stored, it's been in warehouses. A lot of people say that the paste cracks, but if you don't need it to get all of those ingredients back in warm, then it will crack. So just give it a really good knead. And a bit of Trex on your hands really helps yes, it, doesn't tricks. it? Yes, A bit of Trex yes. on your hands. Not lard or any other no. product like that. I won't advertise. Yeah, no. But a bit of Trex on your hands, yeah. rub it in well, then use, then roll in your sugar paste and it yeah. just comes back beautiful. Yeah. Have you got a little board this could actually go on? Or shall I just put it on here? I have got a little board. If not, don't worry. Just one second. Sorry, ladies. Mm -hmm. Do you want one of the silver ones? Or yeah, a little silver one would be nice. Then I'm not Sorry. touching it. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot that. It's too small. Perfect, no, it's lovely. Thank you. Right, Thank you. Little silver. <coughs> so we won't keep touching it as we're moving them around. A little bit of glue. You two can't see that, can you? <laughs> oh, cheers. All right, we're touching to the board. That's better. So we've touched him to the board and I've given him a little white tummy. Julie yes. Crampton wants to know, was it any penguins hurt in that last little disaster? <laughs> <laughs> I think all penguins and sleighs survived, Julie. Just a very embarrassed lady. <laughs> 20 grams rolled into a sausage. Behind the back, we're doing back legs. And then push back legs on, so that's attached to the body. Bring the feet round. Two lines for the back feet. Easy. Also, if you want to do the unicorn, the unicorn, God, we should have done the unicorn. <laughs> the unicorn is so popular at the moment, I keep being asked, but if you follow the cow in the book and just give it a horn and take the udders off, you've got a unicorn. I've named every character in my book after all my family and friends, and my lovely friend Sue said, why am I the cow? And I, <laughs> but she's not, she's a little car. So yes, all the characters are named after my family. And the, the cat is Claire. Yes, my daughter. Right, she's probably watching. <laughs> right, little hole in the back, doesn't hurt. That's where we're gonna put the tail and this is where we're gonna use the pipe cleaners. Right. So one pipe cleaner makes one character. So this is the tail. Leave it at the end so we can put that straight into the back and twist. So that's the little tail. As you can see. You might have to turn that sideways around because with the camera, with it being so black, it look you'd miss it. There we are. Can you see that? And you could put a bow on the tail as well. I was going to ask you to show you how to make a bow. <laughs> <laughs> As much as you can. I know, can get some <laughs> Where's that red paste? <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's okay. This is the legs. Fold that in half. Squeeze the top. I'm sorry my hands are so dirty, but I've been working all day. You've been working all day, you've been working hard for the last four days, haven't yes, you? Yes, yes. You'll be you will be asleep in that car home yes. tonight. Well, we've got we've got a really big audience for five o'clock. I am really pleased on a Saturday night. We've got we've got um, 147 to 150 people watching you live the whole session at the moment, all sat on their settees at home. That's without what's in the kitchen. Have they got here. wine? <laughs> 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 they drink haven't wine. even started on their night out yet. <laughs> Would it be possible to go into my box and I've got some um, brushes, please? Thank you very much. I'm quiet. Yeah. We are going to both. We are going to cake and bake. Georgie will be at cake and bake. She'll be on the edible art stand, and we have our own stand. We're on row B. We've both got big stands, actually. Any box? I don't know. There's. I know there's brushes. It could be if not the white box on the top. The drape. Cake International. What did I say? Cake, cake and, and bake. bake. Sorry. We've done cake there you go. Bake. We've done cake and bake. Yes. yes. Cake International in Birmingham. We've got our own show. Cake and bake. Cake and bake. <laughs> Right, six grams for the paws. <laughs> Cut in half. I'm saying this because if you haven't got the scales that don't go down this low, then you can probably do five or six grams, but you won't get any lower. <laughs> Excuse the noise in the back, somebody's trying to find my brushes. If not, I'll have to run up there in a minute and see if I can find them. Right, two balls. 
Yeah, there's quite a few people with a glass of wine. Is there? Slice of pizza. Oh. oh. We've got, um, who else is here? One sat here watching with a cup of coffee and her baby is fast asleep on her. I like so it. She's enjoying oh. herself. That's Nina. That's one of my girls from the shop. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Oh. Folded that in half. Jacqueline Penfold says, dinner has got to wait. This demo is far more important. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> right, a little bit of glue. Not too much glue. We get very glue happy. Not mentioning any names here today. Who's <laughs> been glue happy? <laughs> One pour, two pour, and because they're on wires, the pipe cleaners have got wires in, they don't come off, so it's very easy. And children, we've had two today and they've thoroughly enjoyed themselves. Press that down. Any luck? No. <laughs> Ladies still hunting. What are you looking for? Glass, um, brushes. Brushes. Oh yeah, we've got one in the bath, Tracy Clark. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we're not watching that. Just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Any men in the box? Sue Simpson with <laughs> Sue Simpson's with a G and T. <laughs> I tell you, it's amazing what people do on a five o'clock on a Saturday night, isn't it? We're making cats wobbly. Yeah. Right. So the pipe cleaner goes behind the cocktail stick. Well, that poor lady up there. Any luck? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Crikey, there's a few of them in the bath, Sarah Williams. <laughs> oh, not goodness. together. <laughs> right, so we've put the paws down in the front. Look at that. Oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll come up in a minute and have a look. I've got brushes here, do you want me to use mine? I'm going to, no, I want bristles. Oh, for chopping off of the whiskers. Yes. Ah, right, oh, okay. Those brushes. Those brushes, oh, now she knows. lady so because you've used your little palette knives and you've pushed the feet in they will stay in you've just pushed them against the body yes, thank you. is there are there a gray ones up there <laughs> she wants the gray ones yeah I want the gray <laughs> ones right so very easy cat so you could turn this into a dog a lion just by tweaking um, the, the um, sugar paste <laughs> poor lady Oh, yes. Good girl. Well Good done, girl. Janet. Well, we've got people in the caravan watching. How good's that? And then we've got Richard Crompton. He's looking after the dinner while Julie, he's making his dumplings. Well done. He is <laughs> making his dumplings, dumplings while Julie sits and watch. Don't wish to know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to know about people playing with dumplings, do we know? <laughs> so. And Rita's had a shower. Yeah, thank you. We've got a nice clean bunch watching oh, tonight. We have, we? we have. It's nice yeah. to know what they're doing. Yeah. Right. One's lying in bed. Yeah. A little bit of glue on the top. Nice smooth ball. He's looking good Isn't so far. He's looking good, is yeah, he? He's looking good, yeah. Right. Great for Santa next to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just smiling. <laughs> is two grams right so when you come to do the ears after you measure them go to that camera close up so they can see what what what, what? you know when you come to do the ears yes. stick your hand under that camera there in front of you you need to be on the on the pink board on the pink board if you work on the pink board yes perfect. yeah no no leave the pink board where it was <laughs> I always do as I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your hands over for the that camera to see them. Oh, I see what you want. So Sharon, you buy the scales off Georgie, and if you just go to her page on Facebook, she's called Georgie God Bold. Mm -hmm. And if you send her a message, she will um, tell you how to buy them. That's right. Right, ears. So it's one ball cut in half. Which camera am I on? That one. This one. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. <laughs> But I'm looking over there. Mm -hmm. I like this. I always look this way. <laughs> I am, I'm looking at you. Right. I've got someone in Sunny Badera watching. So both, oh lovely, both oh. those ears are going to be the same size because Australia. we've got one ball. Australia. I know. Would you like me to go over there? Um, <laughs> one ball cut in half. The end of your cell stick, rounded tool. 
the point, they're cell sticks, they come in all different shapes and sizes, big ones, small ones. You put that in the middle and squeeze. Both those ears are going to be the same size. Don't make one ear and then decide to make the other ear because you'll never get them the same size. So if we make shoes, hands, paws, one ball cut in half or you can weigh them. Right, now I've got pink and I'm going to do little tiny weeny balls. Perhaps this is a bit too weeny. And if you put your paste inside the ear, the pink paste, and with your cell stick press, he's got pink inside his ear. Is that R? No. Oh. 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 <laughs> so you pick up, leave it in the stick, a little bit of glue on the bottom. Don't forget we're on that camera over there. No, 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 we're okay. Fine. Can you see yeah. it? Yeah. Shall I move? Yeah. No, no, you're fine there. And then you press on. One, yeah. Oh. I got an R. Exactly the same. Pick it up. Your boss, it stays. we're going to do can you see me from here yeah change your zooming in right we're going to do that's for the nose one eye two eyes we're going to put a little white nozzle muzzle nozzle flatten that <laughs> Poor Alison Kane there, she's watching the live and her son's rang her. <laughs> <laughs> just what you don't need. No. <laughs> right, so I'll just remake that. Who's there? And then it's a line down there. And then across. It's like an upside down Y. Looks most peculiar. And with the pink. Now, if you make a ball and just put it on the front, it will fall off. Purely because when sugar paste slightly shrinks, that ball is only going to be touched and it will fall off. So you need to make a hole in the, in the paste, a little tiny ball, and, and do a teardrop. It's the pointy end that goes into the head. I know that seems strange, but sometimes people have tried to get the rounded end in and then we've got pointy noses so it's the pointy end nobody's done it here they're, they're all, all looking at gross. me looks I know, very I know. good i know right. yeah we'll do the hole a little bit of glue and don't forget that paste is still soft so you don't need much glue okay am i all right yeah yeah <laughs> And then we've got whiskers. The best way of doing whiskers is a brush. Now this was a dustpan and brush. If you're doing something and you only want a few whiskers, just go in your husband's garage, find a new brush and just take a few whiskers. You'll never know. <laughs> Mine still hasn't found out. <laughs> so cut them down. And as you can see how many pussy cats and that we've made this week. But do you remember what Georgie said earlier? For anybody who's just tuned in, these are not for eating. No. These are for display purposes only, cake toppers. So can you see, can you pick up the whiskers on there? Can you see the whiskers? John's just gonna get in on the whiskers. Hold on a second. Okay. And you're doing this when this, um, the paste is wet or damp. We're all quiet in this kitchen now, I tell I you. I know. I feel as though no one's breathing. Well. <laughs> I'm not.
Nobody's speaking. Nobody's yeah. saying a thing here. <laughs> oh, oh, I got an R again. <laughs> right, with a cocktail stick. <clears throat> Little tiny dots on his muzzle. Oh, eyes. Eyes. Are you sugar balls? White sugar balls. Pop a little ball in. I'll turn him back like that. Silence. Talk to me. It's what's <laughs> So while John's just zooming in there, just a quick reminder, we're all going to be at CI Cake International in Birmingham in two weeks. Um, any of you lovely ladies who go in, Georgie will be there for three days on the edible art stand, showing you how to make her wobblies. Um, she will have scales there. We will be there as well. We've got a big scan, a uh, big scan, a big stand <laughs> as well. So do pop along and see us. And um, I'll let you press on, Georgia. Carry oh, on. Thank you. Right, so we've got the two white balls in there, and then with an ordinary pen. Um, you can use a sugar craft pen, but you're not going to eat this, so it really doesn't matter. Concentrate and do this when nobody's looking. <laughs> and we all say it's super, super cute. That's Elizabeth Moss. Right. And my pen's not very good. When are you in Chelmsford? I live there. I know, but when are you doing, <laughs> when are you doing there? When are you doing your demo there? Because someone's uh, coming to a demo I've got a there, they said. I've got a workshop there. Oh, have you? Right, yes. well, somebody must be coming there then. workshop 18th of November. Ah, the 18th of November, right then. Now, the pupils go the same way. They either go both to the left, both to the right, both into middle or looking down. We don't have pupils going that way and that way because it really looks peculiar, but I've had it. So just make sure they're going the right way. So you could have something like a little butterfly on his nose so he, his pupils, this ink's not very good. It's dried out. Getting there. I think they could be darker pupils. Got a sugar craft pen. <laughs> oh, do you want one, do you want a pen? Yeah, have you got one? Yeah, I can make them a little bit darker. <coughs> now, because he's Halloween, I'm going to give him some hair and we're going to put a witch's hat on. No, don't worry. No, there we just don't want you to put it in there. Now I know his ears have done wide apart because so I'm going to put a hat on him. Thank you, that's lovely. So I'm going to give him some hair. This is sugar paste. You don't want modelling and flour paste because it's too strong and it won't go through the tea strainer. So um, there are other gadgets you can buy, garlic presses and different ones, but tea strainer. That's just for the hair though, but for the just models, for the hair. it's modelling paste, but just for the hair, only sugar use sugar paste, because yes. it's nice and soft. Yeah. Maurice Smith says he's lovely and cute, not scary. Yet. <laughs> no, they're not, they're lovely. Right, a little bit of glue. Right, then take that off with a cocktail stick. Doreen Griffin says, 
her husband is a decorator and if she cut his brushes, she <laughs> wouldn't see tomorrow. <laughs> so she you uses... never know, Doreen, you never know. Go for the middle bit. She goes the flower away. <laughs> and you can always put a little bit on his tummy as well. Little brush. Whoops. And I've left the top so that we can put a bow, so we're going to have a bow. We moved further away from that camera now. Yep. Oh, well, I did. We're back on the camera. Oh, can you see close enough that way? Do you want to take it back to that camera? Do not know, Are we OK? Yeah, move there. <laughs> Moving while I'm smiling? That's all right, it's good. <laughs> How did okay. you start where the pink board and ended up there? Um, I don't know, really. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been trained very well, <laughs> Do you want me to move? No. Sure. Are you sure? Because it's they get a closer effect on that one over there while she finishes all the little bits. Yeah, you need to put them yeah, on the pink board. Yeah, sit them on the pink board then. On the right hand side of the pink board. <laughs> She's smiling when <laughs> she's doing it. Like that. There you go. So that's a I'm better view. On that. Okay. Yeah, turn it right. towards the camera. Yeah, good. Go and smile at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> good. Right, let's see all the gobbins here. Was that my tea there somebody made me? <laughs> Did have it? Yeah, I think Alex was on brew duty. <laughs> right, a quick, a quick little bow. Do a pink paste. You can move him just off the board if you want to, so you can do your bow. Oh, thank you. Down there? Yeah, put him on the side. Can't see this rubbish, can you? Yeah, just put him to the right here. Yeah. That's perfect. Perfect? Yeah. You have to give him a name. So ladies, you're going to think of a name for him. Sylvester. Sylvester. <laughs> he looks That's what Richard said. He's got a hairy chest. So he's got a hairy. <laughs> Richard Cronter said he's, he's got, got a hairy a chest bow. just like him. Oh, so it must be a boy bow. cat. But you've got a big pink bow. I don't wish to know he's got a hairy <laughs> chest. <laughs> can't be Sylvester now, can it? Can't be Sylvester with a pink bow. So these are non-stick boards. So if you've got a non-stick board, I don't put anything on there at all. If you've got a nice good board, you don't need anything. So you're not going to get sugar and, um, or corn flour on your character. Jasper, we've got so far for a name. Jasper. So we've got Sylvester Jasper. And Karen Naylor says, too much information, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> so we now know that Richard is playing with his dumplings and he's got a hair chest. <laughs> while his wife is engrossed watching this. Should we get back to the bubblies? <laughs> yes. And, it, and he's put the peas in. <laughs> he's cooking the dinner. Oh, it's right. <laughs> He's put the peas on. <laughs> oh, my lovely friend Rachel Rostran, my lovely friend Rachel Rostran, and another Pauline Rostran are watching from Fulhambi nice. over there. Hi, Pauline and Rachel. They'll be dying now. That's why it's so sticky. I'm just going to say hello to Lindsay McIver's little girl. Um, Lindsay McIver's been here all week helping me with the classes. And her little girl, Talia, has been on holiday in Turkey, so she's home. So, hello, Talia. Hello, Talia. Yeah. <laughs> that was rubbish, sorry. I'm, a, I'm more sticky. It's just pressure. Limp Feather, we do have the green non-stick boards. We don't have these little pink ones, but I'm looking into them. Maureen Smith, I agree with you. I thought it was a cake show as well. <laughs> cake afternoon. <laughs> cake afternoon. <laughs> she said, I thought this was a cake show, haha. Uh-huh. Alright, let's turn to another bow. Alright, we want a long strip and a thin strip. Julie Crompton has only just realised we've been talking about her husband. <laughs> she has not clicked on that her husband's been telling us about his dumplings, his peas, and whatever else that he's playing with, and his hairy chest. <laughs> Put a little bit of glue. <laughs> what people do in separate rooms. I know. Right. Outside to the middle, 
outside to the middle. No wonder I can't make a bow. Goodness. All right, flip over. Squidge. Around there. And there's your bow. And you can make that whatever size you like. You can make little diddy ones or much bigger ones. A little bit of glue underneath his chin. And press down. And he's got a little bow. You see that? Yes? Yeah. We can. Look at the man with the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> I get the thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, make a little hat. He's pink. He's pink. So a little ball. We made a little cone, we thinned it out in the middle. If you haven't got one of these, you can use, and this might, no, there we are, bottom, and just thin it down here. A little hat. And we want just a little bit of glue at the back. Somebody said the cat should be. Karen Griffith says the cat should be called Dumpling after all Richard's <laughs> goings on. <laughs> Is that Karen Griffiths? But no, Karen. Oh, it's, it's, it's Iris's um, daughter. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. yeah, she's going to come and work with the Sugar and Crumbs team oh. on the 5th of November. Yes, she joins the team. She's going to be your new customer services. <laughs> We've got Sam the cat as well. Serendipity. Serendipity. Yeah, for a name. Just been told your cat is beautiful. This is a lovely little pussy. All right, a little bit of glue. Oh, oh, well done. Perfect. There you are. How lovely is that? And he should be holding, this is a bit too big, <laughs> he should be holding um, a broom, which I've also done with the pipe cleaners. Yeah. A little bit of dowel, wrap them around with a little thin bit of wire, and that's how you do your pussycat. How you do your pussycat. There you go. Yeah. Oh, well done. Round of applause, ladies. There you go. Give us those thumbs up, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> So give her those thumbs up. She's joined in the fun. So thank you everyone for joining the fun tonight with Sugar and Crumbs. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our sneaky little live. We are doing a class today, believe it or not, and all the lovely ladies in here have had to stop making their cakes. Some of them are finished. Some have just got some finishing off to bits. Um, Georgie has done three classes on the run, two at Renshaw, and she's come over and done her final day over here. So I'm very proud of her for coming over. She's thank worked you. extremely hard. She'll be looking forward to going home and having a glass of wine herself. Definitely. And a dumpling, maybe. Definitely. So, uh, <laughs> with a pussy cat. So, <laughs> so thank you for joining us. Um, our next live is on Monday night at 8 o'clock. We've got a lovely lady coming over called Lynn Oakley, and she is going to make you a stiletto high heel. Mm. I've not put the packs on the website yes and i'm not set up a wish list but i am going to so i'll get those um, shoe packs up for you and um, she has got a lot of hard work to do on monday so do make sure you tune in and see her and then on wednesday we've got francesca coming over because we're not going to do a live on thursday morning we've got francesca coming over a lovely italian lady who's going to show you how to make a proper murray glaze cake that is definitely one oh. you want to see so we've got two exciting things going on there so we've got a high heel stiletto shoe who makes wants to make one of those yes, yes. oh you all do don't you so a high heel stiletto shoe followed by a murray glaze cake so two exciting events 
So that's eight o'clock on Monday night and eight o'clock on Wednesday night. So don't miss those. And if we don't get to see you, we will be at Cake International, both Georgie and I. Um, Georgie is on the Edible Arts stand. She'll have her magic scales with her there to sell you if you don't contact her via Facebook. And we're on our own stand on aisle B. So we look forward to seeing you there. We'll be celebrating our fifth birthday. And for those of you who come on the Sunday, hopefully you're going to get the most amazing news that we won Retailer of the Year. You never, never know. Never That'd know. Be good. So that would be great to celebrate our fifth year with. And best product as well, Sugar and Crumbs. So we're in the finalists for that. So it's all very exciting here at Sugar and Crumbs. But I am going to say goodbye from us lot. And we're all going to get on with it. Have you enjoyed it tonight? Yeah, yeah right. Super. So I'm going to let you all go. I'm going to let Richard finish off playing with his dumplings. Bye, Julie. Hello, everybody else. See you on Monday. Bye. Bye.